Guys, can you believe who I have with me? The Good Speeds, our main peeps. Wow, so we're on our way to Portland Head Light Lighthouse on the grounds of Fort Williams in Maine. We met Andy and Simone in the Freeport, Brunswick area at our hotel, and then we drove over here just in time for lunch to check out this uh, food truck that is said to have great lobster rolls. And we'll check out Fort Williams in just a minute. But the Portland Head Lighthouse is an iconic lighthouse that is just beautiful. You'll see some views in here in just a minute. And here's Bike into Maine. Or 36. It's about right for lately. I remember the time when I was only 16, but. So uh, we're here in Maine. Andy's right here with me. And then. Uh, Tina and Simone are doing what they're supposed to do, waiting on their husbands. Because we're too old to wait in line. Yeah, I think we just sit down and rest. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to have lobster roll or pace pulled, ourselves. pulled pork. Andy's pacing himself. Yep. Pulled pork for you. Oh, yeah, pulled pork for me, definitely. Yep. Lobster roll for me. I think I'm going to do Connecticut style, just warm butter. There you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Should have got the blueberry. Oh, Main no, tradition. Blueberry root beer. That's where you get a chance. They have a lot of places sell this brand. Yeah, so blueberry root beer. Yeah, well, it's a blueberry soda. Blueberry. It's not blueberry root beer, but yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Blueberry soda, cool. Alright guys, we snagged a uh, table overlooking the ocean instead of looking at the uh, food truck. Simone's got the uh, same thing I did, chipotle barbecue pork. What do you think, Simone? I'm good. Yeah, pickled onions good on there? I haven't gotten to any yet. Alright. So yeah, this this is a chipotle maple pulled pork, guys. Instead of coleslaw, it comes with uh, pickled onions, so a little bit different. And then, of course, Walt had to try his first <laughs> lobster roll, probably the first one of many. Yes. Sounds pretty good. It is so good to be here, Andy and Simone, and eating lobster rolls. <laughs> and pulled pork. And pulled pork. <laughs> for the non... Kinda, my main so peeps don't we eat main lobster. Oh, I know. So I'm we're going to eat it for them. I'm going to just use my hands probably. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just... You want a moment alone? I got to, yeah. <laughs> I got the Connecticut style, Just it's just got butter on there with the lobster, and oh my gosh. I'm eating Maine lobster.
I'm just so thrilled to be in Maine. You have to hold it steady though. Oh, you yeah. didn't. And I'm also thrilled that Andy is vlogging, which is really cool. Because he's been through some stuff, as we all know. Oh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> they think we're filming them. Yeah. Or they've already got enough video of them. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. so. It's all about. <laughs> we're going to make our own vlog. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> bit of history about the Portland Head Lighthouse. This was commissioned in 1790 by none other than George Washington. So he put this in operation to guard the coast back in 1790. Pretty cool. Walked on over and wanted to check out the Goddard Mansion, which was built for John Goddard by a New York architect named Charles Alexander. And later this became the headquarters for officers in the Army. Of course, the Army had acquired this building in 1900, but by 1962 it was pretty dilapidated when the city uh, actually bought it and then in 1980 there was so much debris in the building they had a controlled fire and burnt everything and in 2009 they just fenced it off as you see it is now so walking around the Goddard mansion it reminds me of like an old place where Jay Gatsby would live and, but it has seen better days. Yeah, you can still kind of walk around it. <laughs> yeah.
All right, I'm at Fort Williams. Pardon me for a minute, guys, but I had to check out this little dark tunnel. So as you're checking out the beautiful waterfront here in Portland at the Portland Lighthouse and Fort Williams, we then decided to head over on Casco Bay and we checked out the Spring Point Ledge Lighthouse and in just a few minutes, Bug Light Lighthouse. This was really cool. As you can see, the Spring Point Ledge Lighthouse is like a pier almost going into the, the ocean and you can see people are fishing right off of it, which was pretty daggone cool. There were all kind of boats in the harbor. The sky and the water and everything was beautiful. We're on a good speed adventure. Now Andy. We're in the Bug Lighthouse now. Bug Lighthouse. Oh, Bug Lighthouse is really tiny. Okay. The size of a bug. <clears throat> oh. Insect. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that'll be interesting. Yep. I think uh, Andy's trying to kill me on the very first day I'm here. I might die myself. We've done a lot it's of awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But it's been fun. We should sleep well tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun. And then we're going to eat somewhere cool. Oh boy.
After seeing three lighthouses checking out the bay, we decided it was time to go get something to eat at the Muddy Rudder. Dinner. So uh, dinner was excellent. I had a uh, steak tenderloin wrap that had some spinach, bacon, and some fried onions in it with lots and lots of blue cheese. It was very rich and uh, very good. And uh, Simone had what they call rudder chips, and that was a Parmesan cream sauce with some, uh, I think it was uh, what? Green Bre onions. Green onions. And and I added on uh, short ribs. I added on short ribs. Yeah. So, and that was uh, very good as well. Mine was super rich. So if you like rich food, uh, definitely get that. T and Walt, of course, had to go with seafood. And uh, Walt, raved about his fisherman's platter that he uh, split with Tina and it was a huge portion. Uh, Tina had some very rich lobster mac and cheese that was also excellent, I've been told. So yeah, highly recommend uh, Muddy yeah. Portland, the Garment area. Come on down. Come on down, guys. Good Does that work for you? That yeah. works. It's the Bean Booth 90th anniversary. Okay. Right here at LLB. In Freeport, Maine. In Freeport, Maine. <laughs> mm. Change is gonna find me You don't have to 